Rafik, where can I get a dashiki? Wow, Mac, there's nothing worse than seeing an Afrocentric white guy. Why? You know, Juanita, I sure would like to visit good old Mother Africa. Walk the shores of our ancestors, breathe the air of a land filled with black folks. The original black folks. See the ancient ruins of a black civilization and take in the wonder of where we come from. Eat your black eyed peas. Hey, don't you want to visit Africa? The birthplace of our ancestors? See the land of our glorious past where our forefathers walked with dignity? I mean, don't you want to take that trip before you die? Fuck those Africans. They sold my ancestors' black ass down the river and across that fucking ocean. Nigga thought he was going on a cruise and ended up in slavery. And those Africans knew what they were doing. Shit. Ten years later, hell. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. 25 years later, they knew what was going on in America. They heard stories. They heard rumors. They knew what those white boys was up to. But still, they sold their brothers into slavery. They fucking helped load the boats. And they could see that those were not first class accommodations. And still, they sold their brothers into slavery. African got off the boat and found out he was a nigga. The first nigga. Fuck him. I'm suing Africa for pain and hardship, plus interest. 400 years of interest. Every time I see a white man talking to an African, I think they're up to the same old shit. Don't trust neither one of them, alone or together. I want my fucking money for my ancestors. You know what really gripes my ass? I'm afraid to ask. How the white man tries to make the African look silly, look stupid, look ignorant, and locked out of modern times. If anybody knows how devious and duplicitous the African is, why it is the white man. Yeah, they got a good PR firm in Hollywood. <laughs> Tarzan, ain't that some shit? White man in the jungle making some natives look silly. A bunch of silly black folks running around in the jungle intimidated by one lone white man. And people buy that shit like it's solid gold. White guy grows up in the jungle and knows more about his environment than the goddamn natives that have been living there for centuries. That kind of propaganda makes it easy for an African to sell another nigga. Cause do they really know what they're doing is wrong? Maybe they're sorry. King fucking Kong. Now, what kind of shit is that? Some black monkey. A big ass black monkey. Getting pimped by a white girl. And to make sure you know he's getting pimped, they bring his big black ass to New York City, the pimp capital of the world. Black monkey confused the big apple with the big banana. And what are those Africans saying? Take him. Take Kong. That's that big ass nigga. Maybe he can play basketball for you guys. Or stand that big black fool up on the scrimmage line for the New York Jets. <laughs> Help yourself to our shit. You know what kind of movie I want to see Hollywood make? I'm afraid to ask. I want to see Hollywood make a movie about the first nigga.
I was almost tempted to give up my dashikis. <laughs>